Today in Amarillo continues. Believed to be the first black-owned trucking company in Texas, Jones & Sons Trucking is based right here in Amarillo. Now more than 70 years after it started in 1950, the business still in the family. Three generations of Joneses have operated the trucking company, beginning with Eddie Lee Jones. His family tells KMR Local Force Jack, Jackie Kingston, his legacy rolls on with each rotation of every tire in the fleet. That story as we honor Black History Month. The Jones family will tell you transportation is part of their legacy. I mean, we're not new to this, we're true to it. It is from the heart. It's just in our blood. You know, it's something about that diesel smoke. Once you smell it, you, you're hooked. <laughs> Jones and Sons Trucking celebrated 71 years in business last year. The family says it was the first black-owned company to get their trucking authority in the state of Texas back in 1971. Well, this, this right here shows, you know, uh, when he signed and when it was issued to him. Eddie Lee Jones started the business in August of 1950, and the Texas Railroad Commission granted him trucking authority after he purchased the established company in 1971. When my dad opened the door back in 1970, because, like, minorities, uh, the trucking industry was a, was a, a you know, a, a white industry. Yeah, uh, uh, that's true. Blacks, Indians, Mexicans, they couldn't have trucking authority. And so my dad opened the door in 1970. He fought for it. I mean, he caught a lot of caught a lot of hell. I mean, he really did, you know, protesting and stuff like this, but he opened the door in 1970. And so when he did, he actually helped other guys. There was a guy down in Austin named Alvin Washington. He was a black guy. My dad actually helped him and the other guys uh, apply and get their authority. The family doesn't dwell on the prejudice that Eddie Lee faced, but some stories have stayed with the younger generations. Driver and part owner Devarius Jones is impressed by how his grandfather persevered, even though at times he was all alone. In Pampa, Texas, he used to work down there all day, and he would have to sleep in his trailer mm -hmm. because blacks weren't allowed in motels. And for a man to have that much determination for his family, to not even get a good night, you know, rest, the cold weather, you know, just going through that, it stick with me. Like, no matter what throw obstacles come my way, it's, it's a brighter day ahead. It's not just the diesel smoke, but perhaps some of the grit from the sand and gravel they've moved for so many decades ingrained in the Joneses as well. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it. That's just the bottom line. There ain't no other way. Because I know that's the, way they, that's the way they raised us, and that's the way they would do it, and that's the way they had it, and that's the way we're going to do it. That dedication has helped their business grow, moving the operation from the original site of the business in North Heights, now used for storage for classic trucks, to their current location on Loop 335. It says August 31st, 93. Thanks to David's sons, the business will stay in the family for at least the next generation. I got a little grandson, <laughs> and believe me, boy, he's into it. You get him out here, shoot, he's into it. So, like I said, I just hope it keeps going. Another 70 years or 71 years. At least. I hope and pray, yes. <laughs> I sure do. Now, David says he would like to grow the business in the future, but of course, that's in God's hands and depends on what the family decides to do together. Now, in the spirit of transparency, there's a family tie to this story here at KMR Local 4. The Jones family is my family. Eddie Lee Jones is my grandfather, and the men in that video are my uncles and my cousins. And you can go to our website, myhighplains.com, for an in-depth look at the business and for more photos from the family. You know where to go, myhighplains.com. The time is now 6.43. Coming up on Today in Amarillo, life in the closed loop in China can be a bit restrictive. We'll take a look at a ski resort that's given some people freedom after the break. And here's a look at the Mandarin word of the day. Hi, I'm Heidi.